All right, and we are recording again. Uh, this is class five on August 31st, second part of today's class. Uh, having issues with Zoom, that's why we have two parts today, but we'll get that fixed. So apologies for that and thanks for your patience. All right, uh, just had a good question about changing the dimensions of the walls. Um, as we noticed in the end of the last section, um, we can move the thickness of these walls, but we need to know how they move. So depending on which wall you're selecting, sorry y'all, yeah, let's add them. Okay, uh, depending on which wall we're selecting, which will determine how the uh, size, how the dimensions change. Um, one thing you need to take note of when we're changing the dimensions of the wall is which one that we want to move. So the one that you click on, the one that you make active is the one that's going to move. So notice over here, I have my temporary dimensions that pop up if I click this wall. And if I click over here, you know, they change a little bit. But what really makes the difference is if I have this wall active, when I change this dimension, this is the wall that's going to move. When I have this wall active and I change the dimension, this is the wall that's going to move. So what does that mean? Uh, let's make sure that we're coming from the right section if we're doing from internal wall to internal wall. Let's say if I wanted to change that to 22 feet, watch that blue wall. That's the wall that moved. If I want this wall to move, I want this one to, to move to a different location. Uh, I still have my intern, my dimensions, my temporary dimensions set to the internal walls. But when I change this to say like 30 feet, well, let's do uh, let's not do 30 feet, let's just do 25. Um, the other wall is the one that moves. So the wall that is active is the wall that is going to move on you and that is just a matter of practice um how you want to manipulate it and things like that um once we've had these walls active if say we had another wall that's coming over here another making another room i don't want to draw another wall i want to grab this wall we have the node right here at this point i can drag this to the length I need it to be. Or if I had another wall that was coming down here, I can't continue this wall. Say if I know it needed to end here, you can do it like that. So it doesn't have to always be done with the temporary constraints. Uh, obviously you wanna make sure it's active, but if you know that the measurement between this wall and this, this wall right here would be correct, uh, you can go ahead and just um, stretch these other walls. Like I said, this this first part is really just kind of, um, it helps you figure out the real basics of uh, Revit and how to start the project. And, um, you know, don't worry if you need to restart this a couple of times. The main thing is to get it correct as possible and I will take it from there. Uh, so there's actually not a whole lot of new material from this. We pretty much covered everything we needed to already. Um, does anybody have any questions? If uh, you need me to go over anything, otherwise we'll go ahead and end the class for today. And um, you can go ahead and start practicing on this. Uh, while, you're having, while you're practicing this before next class, if you have questions, write them down and we can go over them at the beginning of the class on Wednesday. Or if you get really frustrated with it, since you know I'm, I'm not there to kind of walk you through it one-on-one, -on -one, um because we're not in class you know send me a text today and then we'll see if we can meet up later throughout the day um, for me to kind of give you a, you know some help with this uh to get started but uh it's that pretty much covers everything that we need to do today so what you'll do is when you start the project you will create the two wall sizes like we did and then you can start laying out your walls drawing them out um, using the temporary dimensions and the constraints as you need to. Uh, you can practice with creating new materials for your external wall, or you can just use the material that's already in there, but we will be creating new materials later on. Um, some people like to just get started with the creating of the new material so it's close to what they want to do. Uh, 
closer to what the, how their house looks to start with, but that's something that can, um, you'll notice as, as we do this, there's some things that can be changed. Like if you start with one thing and then you decide you let, don't like that, we can change that and fix that later. So it's, it's definitely a progression. <clears throat> um, but what I'd recommend today is just go ahead and start, maybe review the video one more time and just kind of start playing with it and, and see what you can do to, to figure it out. Cause it's, it's just a puzzle that you're gonna be working on right now. And uh, it's really gonna help you get the basics of this down. So do we have any questions? Oh, I think you're on mute. I think you're on mute. I have a uh, condo, and so I have uh, three three different types of outer walls. I got a uh, side wall that's brick, and then the front and back are siding, and then I have that shared common wall in the middle. That so. That would be three different external walls. Actually, if you have a sh the shared wall in the middle, that's actually your internal wall. That's the internal wall on the other side, right? Since it's your shared wall, just yeah. use double. I just use a who since you're on a condo on that. Um, you know what? Okay. Just make a mess. Make all. Just use the same wall to start, and yeah. then um, after class next time, we'll play with that after. But just to keep it easier on yourself, make it all the same wall to start. And then we can change that later as we need as we need to. But yeah, okay. I don't want you to get too bogged down in the making of all of the three different walls right now. I just want you to feel comfortable it's like putting the puzzle together, and then we'll change what those pieces look like after. So we can do that. Okay, great. Easy for you. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Right. Any other questions, y'all? All right. Uh, let's go play. And um, if, if you have any questions, you know, while you're doing this, send me a text and um, we'll try and get um, together and get this done. But first remember that this is just, uh, you're learning it and uh, just take your time to do that and um, we'll take it from there. So have a great day and I'll see some of y'all later. Right. Thank you, bye-bye.